Now that you know the major parts of the light microscope, you'll need to learn the correct use and care of the microscope before getting started on your lab activities. At the end of part three, you will be able to describe how to use the microscope to focus on a specimen, identify which objective you would start observing a specimen with, describe how to place a slide on a microscope, describe how to adjust the slide so it is in the path of the light, identify when to use the coarse adjustment and when to use the fine adjustment, and know how and when to change the objective lens. In this video, we are going to show you how to use the light microscope to focus on a specimen and how to prepare your microscope for storage once you have finished observing the required specimens. For our specimen, we will be using a prepared letter E slide. Start by turning on the light at the bottom of the microscope, and to get the best contrast, adjust the light so that it is not on full power. Next, make sure the stage is in its lowest position and that the scanning objective is in place. Find the mechanical stage knobs and move the stage forward to allow room to place the microscope slide onto the stage. It is easiest to grasp the slide where the label is, or on its edge. Place the slide down on the stage and squeeze the clips together as you slide the microscope slide back and to the left. Gently release the clips. You should now be able to move your microscope slide using the stage adjustment knobs. At this point, move the slide so that your specimen is in line between the lens and the condenser. Now that we have the slide in place, we can begin to focus on the specimen. Put your eyes to the ocular lenses and turn the coarse adjustment knob to bring the stage to its highest position. Now start to look for the letter E. You may have to turn the coarse adjustment knob to slightly lower the stage. This is okay because you want to bring the letter E into a nice, sharp focus. You may also want to adjust the diopter rings as necessary. Use the stage adjustment knobs to bring the specimen into the center of your field of view. This will help you find your specimen as you increase magnification because the microscope is parcentric meaning that the image should stay relatively in the middle of your field of view as you change magnification. Notice, too, that the scanning objective provides the largest field of view. When you are ready to increase the magnification, turn the revolving nose piece so that the next objective, the low power objective, will click into place. Put your eyes again to the ocular lenses and you should see your letter E. Remember, our microscopes are par focal, and we expect the image to be slightly out of focus, but that's okay. To get a sharp, crisp image, use the fine adjustment knob only. Never use the coarse adjustment knob with this objective. If you need more contrast, you will have to adjust the light accordingly. Finally, adjust your letter E so that it is in the center of your field of view using the stage adjustment knobs. After you have viewed your specimen with the low power objective, you are ready to move to the high power objective. Just like we did with the low power objective, turn the revolving nose piece so that the next objective will click into place. Put your eyes to the ocular lenses and you should see your letter E. It may be out of focus, but that's okay. To get a sharp, crisp image, use the fine adjustment knobs only. Never use the coarse adjustment knob with this high power objective. Finally, adjust your letter E so that it is in the center of your field of view using the stage adjustment knobs. Notice how much smaller the field of view is here compared to what we saw with the scanning objective. There is one more objective, the 100x oil immersion objective. This video will not demonstrate the use of this objective as it requires special immersion oil and is not used in our general biology courses. Now, let's say we have finished viewing this specimen and we are ready to view another. Simply use the coarse adjustment knob to lower the stage to its lowest position and then rotate the objectives back to the scanning power. Squeeze the slide clips and remove your slide. It is important that you put your slide back into the slide box immediately. You are now ready to select another specimen and start viewing it. When you are finished using the light microscope, you will need to prepare it for storage. 
use the course adjustment knob to lower the stage to its lowest position and then rotate the objectives back to scanning power. Squeeze the slide clips, remove your slide, and place the slide back into the appropriate slide box. Turn off the microscope light and use the stage knobs to move the stage clips back so that they are equidistant on either side of the stage. Move the stage back so that the stage support does not extend forward. Unplug the microscope, making sure you grab the actual plug and not just the wires. Put the microscope cover back on and call your instructor for a final check. Hopefully these tips will help you breeze through your laboratory activities. Next, complete the part three knowledge check. Good luck.